So, hello my friends, and as the title describes, I want to tell you more about creating videos for your business. This video is going to be short, precise, clean, and no waffling. And to do that, I'm actually using some notes. Now, that's I'm showing you this on what and how I do this because that's one of the major questions I get from um, my clients who actually want to learn how to do videos. Yeah, I sort of start scripting my videos just so that it keeps my brain in line and so I don't waffle because I. Some of my friends say, ah, you're sort of waffling a bit to watch in your videos. And I'm like, okay, but that's good because that's what I need. I need constructive criticism so that I get better at doing this job. Well, not a job, is it? But I want to be able to produce better videos because I want to, I want to be better at this. Yeah? Now... So many of you have been sending me direct messages. Ah, uh, but you know, I don't talk well. You know, I don't pronounce my words well. I'm just not, you know, it's so much work. I got to get my hair done and I got... And listen, I understand. But in reality, a lot of people don't really care about that if your content is good. Simple. So produce better content. So this, this video is all about just getting through all of those little nagging things that make you don't want to produce videos. And it, here's the reality of the situation. You won't get better at this just watching videos. You got to go through the pain of making a lot of screw ups initially in order to get better. And that's what I'm doing. Do I really care? Ah. I stopped caring about these things a long time ago. As I tell most of my clients who are interested in getting into producing videos and producing art and producing anything that you're out there in public, you're gonna start bad. It's as simple as that. And the biggest, biggest, biggest uh, lesson I've always taught is it doesn't matter how good you are, there's gonna be people out there that just don't like it and that's the reality of it but does does that mean that you have to stop doing it or don't do it no you got to keep doing it until you get better and you'll start enjoying the process a lot more I can guarantee you that because I'm enjoying this okay as my daughter walks in the room to interrupt my train of thought really who's that happy birthday Oh, it's a happy Father's Day card. All right, you can interrupt me. Oh, look, she made me a Father's Day card. Yeah. Yeah? Say bye. Okay, thank you. Uh, is it Father's Day today? Jesus. You know you're getting old when you don't even recognize your Father's Day card. All right. So, awesome. This is, this is great. Um, I'll, I'll read it to you guys. Uh, the, the, seriously, this was not planned. I, I swear, this was not planned. Um, okay. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. You are the best dad in the whole entire world. And you're also swaggy. Love you. Kiss, hug, kiss, kiss hug. Love, Izzy. The best. Of course, she had to end that with the fact that she's actually the best. But... That's my daughter, man. That's my daughter. 13? Yeah. Anyway, back to our regular scheduled video programming. All right. So in this video, I want to give you guys some statistics on why you should still be producing videos or why you should start producing videos. Number one, you create a digital version of yourself so that you don't have to keep repeating a lot of information that you already gave to clients before. So I sort of touched on this in the last video I did. Um, I just felt that it wasn't concise and precise enough. So I, I want you guys to get that in your head. You have to have a digital version of your business 
so that when you can't physically be there, at least you can digitally be there and still charge uh, clients for information. Because information is a commodity. That's why YouTube is the number two greatest search engine in the world. Who's number one? Google, owned by the same business. Seven to nine percent of consumers prefer videos as opposed to reading information. Now, that statistic wasn't usually like this. More people used to enjoy reading and absorbing their information that way, but now more people prefer to see videos. Number three, you need a quick, clean, clear, concise video that explains who you are, what you do, and what you can do for the client. It's always about, if I'm the client, what can you do for me? What can you do for me? Eh? Eh? Tell me. I, I'm not interested in your day and how everything went when I'm looking for information. Yeah, my, my kid's uh, Father's Day card is not what you want to listen to when you're listening to this video. But that was too sweet for me not to share. Come on, come on. It was impromptu, it was clear. But you get my point. Give me the information, stop waffling. And so that's why I'm moving on to number four. 50% of web users usually go and look for a video before they enter your site or they enter your storefront. Yes, people are checking you out before they actually think that they're wasting their time doing anything else. Bear that in mind. Get your explainer videos out there. Explain what you do quickly. Now, number five, videos provide six to six percent more leads and sales to your store than if you never had any. Think about that. Imagine increasing your business by six to six percent. What do you think I do these videos? All right, a lot of it is fun and also a documentation, but it also helps my business. It gets people to realize that I am in the business of doing videos and it gets them into my photography or purchase photography as well. Here's the bonus. You have to start with what you want the client to do. What do you want them to do? Ultimately, do you want them to go to your website? Do you want them to come into your store? Do you want to offer them a deal? What is it that you want them to do? Do you want them to give your email address? I mean, you have to start with the end in mind so that you can actually plot a clear, concise video to get people to do it. And it got to be under one minute. You got to get it all in under one minute. Don't waffle, just get it done. Okay? So I'm not waffling, I'm moving on. So guys, get your videos done if you need help. And here's where I'm telling you what I want, I would like right now. If you would like your videos done or you need help, give me a call, DM, PM, whatever method you can find to get to me, and I will be happy to help you produce your better, clearer, more concise videos. Okay, until next time, cheers. Well, that was good. I was short, yeah? Eh, no waffling? Ah, I feel proud of myself, yeah, all right.